I knew about the vile tones when I lived in Calgary. I saw the picture. I uh, saw the pictures of, of the guys, Steve and everybody, in the in the file magazine. But just looking at the picture, the the picture spoke a thousand words and, and a thousand songs or whatever. You know, you, so I wrote a I wrote a letter off to New Rose. I was in the store and I said I was going to be going out to Calgary, and Freddie said, "Hey, we got a fan letter from a a guy in Calgary. You should write to him." And, you know, see what's going on out in Calgary. And so I wrote to Steve, and Steve and I became like pen pals before I actually, you know, went out there and met him. As far as I could tell, I was the only guy who was walking around with, you know, zippers sewn into their shirts and a dog collar. And so the people in Calgary in mid-78 had no conception of what that meant. But I got out of there in a nick of time because, you know, basically by the end of 78, it was starting, you know, the little two watt bulbs were going off in their brain and they realized, oh yeah, we hate this. And then people were starting to get beat up after that. But, it, but you know, when I was there, I was sort of treated like a retarded child or something. <laughs>